Hey guys, this is Miss Brown Butterfly. I came to do the Common Natural Girl tag um, where I'll be answering um, some questions. So let's get started. The first question is, what's your favorite smoothie or juice drink? My favorite uh, smoothie is the strawberry banana um, with a little bit of the energy, whatever they put in it when I go to um, the smoothie shop. But I like anything juice, whether it be uh, cranberry, apple, strawberry, banana, whatever. I love juice because I don't tend to drink a lot of soda, so um, anything juice I'm in. Uh, like I said, I don't drink a lot of soda. I drink a lot of water. I do drink coffee, but I love any kind of juice drink. Um, not picky on the juice, but I like juice, period. And number two is, how long does it take for you to do your hair in the morning? Well, it just depends. Um, if I prep my hair the night before, um, if I'm going to do a twist out or something, if I prep the night before, meaning, you know, spray it down with some water, put some leave-in or whatever I'm going to use for a hairdress, I um, do that the night before. Um, sometimes, like on Saturdays, like today is my wash day, um, what I'm going to do is style it. It, whether it be braids or a flat twist, um, but I won't leave. I won't have any hair out this week because last week I wore a uh, twist out, and it was really, really cold. And you know, the cold kind of do something to your hair. So this week I'm gonna deep. Um, today I'm gonna wash. I'm going to twist it down or braid it down. Um, pretty much a protective style for this week. So it takes. If I'm doing a twist out, it takes me about maybe about five minutes to do my hair in the morning because what I do is normally just twist it take it a loose and then um, leave it that way until I get to work and then I do the lift because it just it just depends on my time in the morning times because I can put on my beanie and go to work and finish it at work so probably about five ten minutes if I'm gonna do it in the morning time being that if I prep it the night before ten minutes at the most number three is what are your favorite natural girl hashtags that you use on Twitter or Instagram? I don't do a lot of hashtagging on um, Instagram. And every now and then I'll tweet if, if you know, like Bishop Jakes is on or Oprah is on or, you know, Tyler Perry is on. I'll hashtag those, but I don't really have a hashtag. I don't even use the hashtag, really. So, I don't hashtag. What is your hair type? I don't really have hair type, but... If I have to use a hair type, it's 4C. I'm kinky. Tell us your worst hair story, hair horror story. Okay, I, maybe about a year and a half ago, I think about a year and a half ago, um, I was getting ready for work, and the day before, I had a twist out. And I know that if you add water to your hair, it moisturizes, but I was not really thinking before I sprayed my hair and I got up that morning I prepped did my hair makeup whatever and before I walked out the door my hair looked a little dry but instead of me using an oil I sprayed my hair down with some water and I kind of just missed it you know missed all over my hair and it was kind of hot in Florida and once when I got to work I didn't I didn't look in the mirror once I got to work but you know I work in a medical facility and you know co-workers and stuff so I just was wondering why everybody was looking at me you know they was looking at my hair so I, this is early in the morning looking at my hair and I'm like well what in the world so um I kept on about you know, about another hour or so so I did go to the restroom and looked in the mirror and my hair had completely blew up and I'm like oh my god that's why they looking at me like that. So I did have some bobby pins in my purse. And what I did was just took it in the back and twisted it up and twisted it on the side and took the front and twisted it and pinned it. And I had my little protective style because I was looking crazy. And I'm like, oh my God, I cannot believe I did that. But that was my horror story. And I now I just use oil if it's dry. Sometimes I just be okay with the dryness because I've embraced my natural hair. So I'm okay with it being dry now. Okay, the next question is, do you let people touch your hair? If they ask me, I'll let them touch my hair, but don't just automatically assume that you can touch my hair. I had a supervisor um, when I lived in Florida. 
I would come in, I would pull my hair back and I have a puff or something and um, sometimes I'll do a twist out and it's just big and you know about third day you have big hair so it's normally it's big and curly so she would come in and oh that's and I'm like I always did that because it's not okay for you to, to just assume that you can touch my hair so um, you know after a couple of times of doing that to her she finally got the message and now she then she got to the point where she wanted to ask because she touching and I'm like I'm okay with her touching my hair because it ain't gonna cut you it might look like it'll cut you but it's not gonna cut you so you know I don't want nobody to assume that they can touch my hair because that is a part of me don't just assume you can touch my hair because especially when you've taken your time and you've um, uh, did a twist out and you got it just right and you got it high enough the way you want it and somebody comes in and do this here to it no please don't assume that you can touch my hair so that's my thing about touching my hair and what's a natural girl problem you go through regularly? Mm, I don't really have a problem that I go through. Um, because, I, like I said, I've embraced my hair. I'm okay with the shrinkage. I'm okay with it looking dry, even though it may not be dry. I'm, I'm totally okay with it. Um, but the only thing that I battle with is trying to keep it moisturized and not having to moisturize every maybe about every other day sometimes three times a day um, I used to co-wash like on Wednesdays um, but even at that I've tried to get away from that midweek regimen because my hair is it, it kinda it I think it dries it out because it gives me the illusion of okay I've done a co-wash it's moisturized but then the next day is I still have to do something to it so I'm going from the co-washing midweek to washing once a week mainly on Saturdays because on Saturdays I can wash it uh, I can co-wash it I can natural so no I'm not a natural hair Nazi no not at all and it says favorite old school or celebrity celebrity naturalista I like Jill Scott, I like um, Angie Stone, um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, I don't have a favorite, but those are the girls that stands out to me that once have, uh, that has natural hair. And then it say, are you a product junkie? I try not to be a product junkie. Um, I only get things that I know I'm going to use and try. Um, in the beginning, I was trying a lot of stuff, but I had that at a minimum because you know after watching YouTube they kinda straighten your straighten you out because a lot of the natural girls they are product junkies and I, and I know you're trying to get to know your hair and stuff but um, me that taught me to just kinda you know hold back a little bit don't go for every product out there but um, I do have a few products but I, I'm not a hoarder nor a product junkie I will try different things but if I'm trying something, I at least give it, it, it between one and three months before I'll go and buy something else. You know, that kind of keeps me, um, you know, money-wise and just letting it sit and you walk in the room and you see it and say, shoot, look at all this money I spent. I ain't even got to these products. So, yeah, I can't, I can't see myself just spending money like that. And then, you know, six months down the line, you still have these products that you haven't even touched because you're using something else. So, no, I'm not a product junkie. I say, if you could change anything about your hair, what would you change? I don't really, I wouldn't really change anything about my hair. Um, the only thing I would change is the color because I'm getting gray hairs now. So, yeah, I would change the color of it, keep it from turning gray n right now. But once I reach that age of, you know, you know your hair gray, stop trying to dye it age. So, yeah, that that's the only thing. But right now, I'm not ready for the gray hair. It says, how do you, how do men react to your hair? I don't really get a lot of reactions from men um, as far as my hair because... I'm all, I always I always do my hair. I keep my hair done. I just don't wake up and, you know, do this number here and go. I always do my hair. And my husband can tell me. I, I, he finds himself telling other natural ladies that he encounter um, during the week or, you know, whatever he's doing with his business. 
Um, he always find he he tells me he finds himself telling people that you know my wife she twists her hair up every night she washes this I am truly dedicated to my hair so um, with that being said men don't really give me a reaction you know because I always have my hair done but my husband for my husband he absolutely loves it now when it's looking a little crazy and I haven't done anything to it like mainly on the weekends is when I um, don't really do it like on like today is my wash day it's 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 whatever today because I know I'm gonna wash it but if I come from Saturday to Sunday and I haven't done anything and then I get up on Sunday morning to go to church it's like oh my god what am I gonna do to my hair and he's standing there looking like mm. so but other than that I don't get reactions my husband absolutely loves it, it you know he loves it so I don't get those reactions What's an annoying question people ask you about your hair? How you how did you go natural? What? How did I go natural? Was it and then I get a question, what were you going through when you were natural? Nothing. I just decided to go natural. That was it. And then it says, how do you usually style your hair? Uh, it just depends. It just depends on what I'm looking for and what I want to do. Um, majority of the time, I always have, I mainly have this twisted down. And sometimes I'll have this twisted to the front or I have it twisted to the side. But if I have it twisted to the front or the side in single twist, sometimes I'll let it hang down like this. Or I will take it and I'll just take it and pin it, pin the ends up. You know, if I want it all to be down, I mean, you know, styled a different way other than that. And then if I decide to wear a different style, like maybe on Thursday or Friday because I know wash day is Saturday, I'll take my twister loose and, and just have a big puffy uh, bang and still have this twisted down. And sometimes I'll twist it to the middle and twist it up and then just have a ball here. Or sometimes I'll just twist it going to the side. The way I have it styled today is like going to the side. Sometimes I'll twist it down and go put, you know, have it going to the side and all of it just twist it up on the side. But, you know, that's mainly it. I don't I don't do a whole lot of different styles and stuff. Oh, my earring fell. But that's okay. Um that but that's just the only style that I would normally do. And then it says what would you would you consider getting a perm again for a million dollars for a million dollars yes I will definitely relax my hair because once I've gotten my million dollars I'll just start the journey again of going natural so of course a million dollars wouldn't you the next question is how what's your favorite ratchet song out right now I don't really have a, a ratchet a favorite ratchet song I don't even know if ratchet is a word, but that's just something that came up with the Ebonics urban children. I, I don't know. I don't have a ratchet song. I like a lot of music, um, but I don't have a ratchet song. I don't know even what a ratchet song is. What, what would that be? Rap? Hip-hop? What? I don't know. So, But no, I don't have a ratchet song. I like, you know, gospel. I like... R&B. I like old school, smooth jazz. I like um, I, I like a lot of different music. I don't get down with the hip hop and the. Not that I don't. I have a problem with the hip hop, hip hop, but I have sons. I have daughters, and you know they're teenagers. I mean, all of them are teenagers, and all, and you know three of them are grown. But you know I don't have. I don't get down with the hip hop because I'm not trying to be their friend. I'm not trying to stay in the know. I know if I hear it. And it's, in, it's going on in my house. It's got to cut off. Because all that whatever, hip hop curse and all that. I don't let that play in my house. So no I don't have a ratchet song. So I think that was all my questions. In the common natural girl tag. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Again this is Miss Brown Butterfly. Thank you and God bless.